ABC News 4 Sports with Scott Eisberg. Game week out in the Pines. Good evening, I'm Scott Eisberg. Sports comes to you live tonight from St. Stephen, our true moo game of the week. Bishop England and Timberland were dropping down from the 4A ranks to the 2A ranks, but certainly two perennial powers in 2A. Most definitely. Two programs in very different places, but two programs that are sort of similar. They both like to front load that schedule, take challenges against bigger schools, and now that they're getting into region play, it's going to be a little different. Bigger schools, though, with the efforts of excelling here in the 2A ranks. Tonight, we see how it all shakes out. Timberland has won 49 of their last 50 region games, B.E., their only loss during that span. Bishop England finally got in the win column last week against Porter Gowd, a one-point win in the Holy War after two tough losses to Hanahan and West Ashley. The Timberland Wolves also suffered an early and a bad loss to Hanahan, but jumped back quickly with a big win over 3A power Crestwood here in St. Stephen last week. Both these teams know what it's like to win a state title. Timberland did it last year. Before that, four years ago, the same year as Bishop England, won the other 2A state title. Tonight they meet here in St. Stephen for what could be a place setter for the 2A season. We have to control the ball and we have to be able to run, get first downs, um, sustain drives. Defensively, we gotta, we gotta contain them, we gotta slow them down. Um, and defensively, we're still working on some things that get some kinks out because I mean, we give up 40 points in the last three games each, so, so we got some work there. But this is where, where we need to step up and say, hey, this is our defense. This is where we're going to stop people. We, we run pretty well. Um, you know, the key for us, obviously, is, uh, you know, limit our turnovers, limit big plays. You know, uh, their quarterback's phenomenal. I think he does an extremely good job with them, and he really runs that offense. And you can tell uh, his maturity from last year to this year has just been amazing. Well, how about this for a tough luck story from last week's holy war between Bishop England and Porter Goud. Alan Walters basically had uh, the Marcus Lattimore injury a couple of years ago, torn ACL, MCL, PCL. He fought his way back just to play this senior season. Rick Reitz, Porter Goud's head coach, said Walters had six or seven scouts even talking to him. And after Walters' nearly two-year return to the field, a torn ACL, MCL, and PCL, basically Marcus Lattimore injury, all over again. The Holy War, Walters breaks his leg, the senior ending his senior and his high school career just like that after nearly two years just to get back on the field. It was not a dirty hit, Rick Reed says, not dirty at all. Walters just got hit by a Bishop England player and broke that leg. He had surgery on Wednesday to repair it. Rick Reed says he's in good spirits, but that is tough news for Alan Walters. Also tough news for Colleton County's Kenyon Richardson, the defensive lineman suffering a neck injury against OW. Didn't break his neck, but good news is he's out of the hospital. He's not paralyzed. Doctors say his career, though, is officially over. All right, let's talk about some other big games we're covering tonight on True Move Friday Night Rivals at 11.05. Goose Creek hosting Fort Dorchester. Somerville at Wando. Colleton County visiting West Ashley. Ashley Ridge at Stratford. Hanahan at Kane Bay also on tap. We have got about 18 games to bring you tonight at 11.05. Should be fun. College football last night, it was a wild one. Clemson gets past Louisville. They had everything thrown at them. Somehow they come away with a three-point win, and Dabo was dancing in the locker room. Let's talk <laughs> first half highlights. Clemson takes a 7-3 lead with a touchdown strike from Deshaun Watson to Hunter Renfro. Watson, not as sharp last night as he has been in the past. Tigers would end up taking a 10-point lead, which lasted for a while. But late in this one, what a wild finish. Clemson special teams gives up a 100-yard kickoff return to Trayvon Samuel. That could have been a dagger. It brings Louisville within three of Clemson. After that, though, the Cardinals with a 38-yard field goal from a senior kicker, John Wallets to tie it, but he pushed it wide that close. From there, Clemson able to hold on for a three point win 20 to 17. Close, but it's a win for the Tigers. We didn't win the division tonight, um, but our goal was to be 3 0, and that's where we are. Um, you know, proud of how we were able to dominate the line of scrimmage. They had 19 yards rushing, we had 202 yards rushing. That's, that's dominating the line of scrimmage. They had five, we had five sacks, I think they had one. Uh, so I, I'm really proud of the guys in the trenches. The Timberland Wolves are uh -huh. taking the field literally <laughs> right next to us. Of course, highlights and reaction at 11 o'clock. We'll send it back to you. All right, and we'll say goodnight, everybody.